listen to this. This is what I yelled over. I no longer have any voice. I was yelling over this the first time. <laughs> yeah, they can do without air for a minute. Yeah, they're, they're doing all right without the air for a minute. So first we'll start out here and then I'm going to bring you guys in. A couple of products I want to talk to you about. Now, I give John credit for, for this. I had heard a little something about it before, but I had never actually applied it in an aquaponic system. John showed me the success and I gave you a story about it with the white flies. This is Micatrol. This is a mushroom-based, totally inert, harmless to humans uh, pesticide. It attacks all soft-bodied insects. The only negative is, is that this could attack pollinators. This is not necessarily the system, the, the pesticide you want to be using in your outdoor or, or don't spray it on your flowers. Don't spray it on your flowers, there you go. But in your greenhouse where you have limited access to bees and you don't really want pollinators coming in in most circumstances, this is an excellent, excellent control of all soft spotted insects. I'll pass it around, you guys can read on the back just how many insects it treats. Now this, like I said, I give John credit for turning on to this. Now when you guys start, now mark my words, in five years, in one year, everyone in the aquaponics community is gonna be talking about this. This is my contribution to the aquaponics community. This is Cordon. Cordon is a company that's been around for a long time, and they came up with this product called Ick Attack a couple years back. This is the most ingenious fish treatment I've ever seen come along. You, you're going to love this one. Remind me, your name is Brit. Brett. Me? Kent. Kent. I always want to say Brent. Kent. So, Kent, this is something you'll love too. Anyone who loves caring for fish, this is a must-have. What this is, is not, don't go throwing garlic into your aquaponics system thinking you can control disease in your fish. This is garlic, but it's derived from garlic. It's a special enzyme and component of garlic. And I think they even ferment it a certain way. And when they do, it becomes very, very active feeding on fungus. All it wants to do is eat fungus all day long. So when you add it to your water, it annihilates the fungus that's attacking your fish. 99% of fish body diseases, whether it's a scale disease, a gill disease, hole in the head or whatever, 99% of those diseases are fungus related. You guys ever wonder why everybody says, oh, feed compost or feed compost tea. What's the best fungal food? Fish hydrolysate. Why is that? Because for millions and millions of years, fish have evolved in very wet and aquatic conditions, which what else loves wet and aquatic conditions? Fungus. fungus. So they've evolved together. So that is my new all-time favorite product, and it's a way that he's been treating his disease here, which he has not had any success for years. As far as I know, it's eliminated his problems. I want to talk to him about his current results. So anyways, those are two great products. Now It doesn't hurt the bacteria in the grow beds or anything? It doesn't hurt the bacteria. It does hurt your beneficial fungi. But which is more important, reestablishing some beneficial fungi once that starts breaking down in the system? or even maybe even potentially draining your system or losing all your fish. You guys got to weigh that out. How long will that stay active? Well, I found that what happens is that over time, all of the organisms that are not fungal related feed on this and it breaks down in the system. So after a while, and that's what, it could be a dis, that could be a disadvantage too if you're treating like a really bad case of hole in the head or some kind of fish disease. If you're, if you're treating a really bad case of that, 